Okay, on to the next Kipilani reaction, man, that we are catching up, man. We are almost done with these. We'll have them all wrapped up by the end of the week. There's not much more left on the Skip the Lines, and then there's a new series that's coming. Right, there's a new artist to the channel again. This is called Jam Baxter. It's a Skip Line reaction from Bilal Aziz. Never heard of this artist before. The message over here is I've sent you to check uh, I've seen you check out ASAP Rock's mind-bending style of rap. So I wanted to introduce you to a UK rapper with a similar imagery, heavy style. Uh, the song melted my brain and would be great to see you break it down. Is it one of those? Is it one of those? Okay, I guess we're gonna have to uh, If it's one of those then I guess we're gonna have to play it through first and then um, Do a breakdown after that if, if that's what you say if if it's one of those, but let's uh, let's uh, Let's see what we've got over here jam Baxter the stump uh, Produced by chemo in lost Japan. Okay, let's uh, let's go Wriggling, tugging my teeth out in a Vietnamese chemist The sun on my back, staggering, fleeing the green menace Just pulling my brain out and deleting the clean edits Squeezing the days, drying and eating the sweet relish The sputtering heat melting, the skin on my scalp bubbling Rattling guns, firing a million rounds up at him Guessing they all still ain't forgiving him, how troubling now Lies I'm on my ones at the table, tucking in my napkin Yeah I'ma eat all night while the walls are collapsing Yeah Blood red, everything, everything matching Yeah Reptile eggs in a cold air hatching. Yeah. We lived our lives like sci fi epics. Yeah. Just my name 3,000 times on the credits. Yeah. We were pelted with pills like shotgun pellets. Yeah. 
And after a while, we were just selling our stunt doubles to parties and red capes. Just talking the night sinners, slipping in mud, dribbling blood in the wine spritzers. Coming back with a skull and a couple of nice pictures. All these plastic figures appearing out of the cupboards. I just rang the bell and greeted a shiver and show up dummy in every possible future. It's stuck on a spinning wheel. She just puts her little hand on the buzzer and got lucky. Sir, these extra faces cost money. I sped away, grinning and burnt a full sand. He surrounded himself with himself and then sat there waiting for one to pull rank. The trouble ain't the innocent boys, so we in depravity behind us. All the troubles remembering every minute. But no one's gonna turn up and hand you a tiny island with a single deck chair in the center of the Pacific. Wait, 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 yeah. Never mind me, I'm drunk. Swarm of people around us, millions of twinkling eyes, and it's dumb. If you wanna be by yourself, you should have said that right from the jump. But when you're sawing off the left hand, are you gonna slice off the right with a stump? Wait, 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 yeah. yeah. Never mind me, I'm drunk. Swarm of people around us, millions of twinkling eyes, and it's dumb. Yeah. If you wanna be by yourself, you should have said that right from the jump. Should have said that right from the jump. Hey. That's pretty heck. That that's fuck. I don't know what that is. To be honest, that's uh okay. Uh, I'm gonna take this from. We, we, we've got to we've got to find something to latch onto here. So th- th- we've got to find um we've got to find like a, a a like a through line that goes through this song. Um, that we can latch on to and then maybe build on top of that. So the one that I'm going to go with, the one that me- seems um, somewhat clear, is that this is some sort of date, right? So I kind of feel like he's on a, a date and it's a date that's going, he's experiencing many different emotions. I also feel like there was, a, there obviously with part of this is intoxication on the date and I feel like there's drugs on this date, right? So that's the premise I'm going with right from the beginning, Right. Once we've got that, we can actually build onto this um, with the lyrics when we go through it now, right? So let's start with that. And and on top of that, also let's begin with the premise that everything he's looking at here, everything he's looking at in this date and the way he's analyzing this date is from a molecular level and from like a lab experiment type thing. He sees this date as an experiment, which you can pretty much argue that most dates are like that because you're experimenting whether you like each other and things like that you're actually trying to find out so it's almost like a research project to a certain degree right it's a research project for himself it's a research project um, on the person that he's um, dating over here so we build with we'll build on that premise we're building on the premise that it's he's looking at all of this as a lab experiment looking very much in detail molecular uh, detail right and um, into her life into his life right and then equating the molecular world into his existence and how he operates in his existence right Um, and then coupled with that is the fact that he is slowly getting inebriated coupled with that is that he's also um, possibly on drugs and then he's going through a range of different physical and emotional um, 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 things like, you know, he's going through paranoia, he's going through uh, um, calm in the beginning, uncomfortability, paranoia, um, and then introspection to a certain degree. So let's go with that, okay? That's, that's my... That's my baseline for this uh, particular track, okay? Because it is it is quite complex. So let, let's uh, let's begin with that. Let's go. I 
I like this part over here with regards to the water and then the drums because the water is meant to be relaxing as if it's supposed to be a chilled night out, right? Things are supposed to flow, but then his heart is thumping. And that's sort of like what, uh, um, that's like sort of the, the, the resemblance of that drum, like doom, doom, doom. So it gives you like that suspenseful,ness like you, you in suspense now of meeting this person. Okay, so over there where he says all seems quiet, just thinking about going to ram it out later. So basically in his head already, he's like, okay, so everything seems quiet right now. All I'm thinking about is later I'm going to sleep with this girl. We'll ram it out later, okay? My worlds were divided and flesh like handfuls of old newspaper. So my ha my worlds were dividing flesh like handfuls. You see, this is where I, 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 I'm, I'm talking about the molecular level. Now, he could be thinking uh, from a psychological perspective, he's like his world are dividing is because he's actually uncomfortable. So it kind of feels like he's he's split. He's in two uh, uh, minds over here. I'll explain a little, bit, a, bit, a little bit more about being in that two minds a little bit later as well. But my worlds were dividing, even if you think about cellular. So his worlds are dividing, so meaning that the cells are splitting, right? And he says, uh, uh, my, my, my flesh feels like handfuls of old newspaper. So it's almost like his flesh is, uh, um, um, it's, it's like old skin that's coming off, essentially. All right. So he's playing into the molecular level of that and playing into the psycholo psychological level of that as well. Right. Some foul smell wrinkles, the fat red face of the cocktail wheel. There he's just describing the actual way, the foot, the, the, the uh, he's just describing the waiter. Of all these people, some foul smell. So some foul smell wrinkles the fat red face of a of a cocktail waiter. So he's basically just describing the 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 waiter. It's this uh, fat cocktail waiter with all the wrinkles and the smells coming from that, right? All wrinkles the fat red face of the cocktail waiter. He sneezed out seven more bars. So over here again, he he plays into like the the molecular side of the world, right? Sneezed out uh, sneezed out seven more bar staffs uh, scuttling around like rats in Fantasia. So he's basically saying like he sneezed out and it's all of his bacteria and germs, right? Again, molecular level, like he's looking at everything very intricately. He's going into the molecular world over here as if, as if this is all an experiment, right? And I like the fact that he's playing that into it because it's like he's doing. He wants you to feel like this is all a lab experiment and he's looking too deeply into the state um, and also um, a psychological experiment with it from a human sense, right? Under drugs and under uh, um, the influence of alcohol as well, right? So this over here, waiter basically sneezed and sneezed far, like more bar staff, the way he says it, bar staff. So it's part of him. So it's like, it's his staff uh, uh, scuttling around like rats in Fantasia, right? So again, it's almost like um, if you think about being a germaphobe to a certain degree that you can almost see it, even you can't see it, it feels like that. Bar staff scuttling around at rats in Fantasia. It's all filling up. Some kid boys hold past with him. That's in so again here we he says he sneezed out seven more bar staff scuttling around at rats and fantasia it's all filling up it's all filling up i kind of feel like it's it's the he's talking about the environment over here it also could be about his actual feelings his anxiety level that's all filling up right it's like filling up a glass like he's, he's getting he's anxious some kid brought his whole past with him some kid brought his whole past with him we he's actually talking about himself to a certain degree so he's actually saying that some kid it's all filling up some kid brought his whole past with him. So all of his insecurities and everything, right? He brought him with him. You can't leave that behind. He's brought that with him. And now it's kind of playing on his mind. Once again, going layers deep. That's him from 2012 with the mid flap stare and the sour cream filling. So I kind of think that this is just someone. with him. That's him from I kind of feel like this is just somebody that he actually sees at um, this venue. So that's him from 2012. So he can't, he, in order for him to, to play on his, in order for him to, to make sense of his projection because that's all it is he's projecting it onto something else he's projecting onto someone else he sees so he sees somebody else in this venue and he says that's him from 2012 it's almost like he picks him out and like shit that was me from a while ago and that kind of brings back memories essentially so this um that's him from 2012 with a meth lab stare and a sour cream filling now the sour cream filling is pretty cool because the sour cream filling is just a normal thing so this kid's got a sour cream filling um 
uh, and that's just kind of like a dessert or something like that, or it's maybe in, in, on like a potato or something like that. But when he talks about the sour cream filling, he talks about like his past, right? That's him from 2012 with the sour cream filling. So when he looks at it, he's almost like, like I'm still sour about my past, right? I'm still filled with this sour uh, um, emotions from my past. So all he's doing is he's just tying that sour cream filling and he's tying that 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 same stare, that, that rebellious, I hate everything, I hate the world stare. And he's projecting himself onto that. And that's what's bringing up those emotions, right? And that's what's bringing up that anxiety. He doesn't really want to show that. 2012 with the myth lab stare and the sour cream filling. That's him from his teen goth lipstick face before he went missing. Okay, so that's him from the teen goth uh, lipstick phase. We all thought he went missing, right? So again, he's projecting that onto onto um, the kid, right? And then he's like, we all thought he went missing. So that 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 persona kind of dissipated over time. He actually grew out of that. And it's like, we all thought he went missing, but he's still buried somewhere in there. But when he says he's buried, is not the actual um, um, the actual idea of what the kid liked it's actually the emotions it's, it's 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 what the kid held at that stage the the teen goth lipstick phase that's all just a phase and he even alludes to that over there but it's not about the phase it was what what he felt during that phase what actually pushed him to do all those things during that phase so it says the phase may have gone but the actual emotions and the trauma from that phase still lies within him right we thought he went missing He's still there, just minus the lipstick and minus the goth phase. Twelve more with the bat bar grinning. Me and I sat there chilling. Okay, so it says twelve more. So other kids that are also sitting there chilling. So he's basically saying, I kind of feel like he's saying that the place that he's currently in is a little too young for him, right? And that's what's bringing back all these uh, different memories, which might actually kind of allude to the fact that maybe she's too young for him as well, right? That they decided to go to a place like this, right? So me and her just sit there chilling. Midnight she'd had a few kids by seven she'd had a bunch more it was jarring. So by midnight she'd have a few kids by seven she had a bunch more it was jarring. I'm not entirely sure what he actually means by this line. You can take this line two ways, right? By midnight it's either he's on a date with a prostitute, right? And everyone has had their ride with this prostitute, right? And uh, she had had a few kids placed in her and then by the morning she'll have a few more placed in her right because she is a prostitute that's one idea throw that out right if you're talking about the molecular level talking about the sperm cell level things like that throw that idea out what i'm also think of from a psychological level is that she might just be talking about kids and in the, in the in the idea of the kids conversation just makes him very uncomfortable right so the whole conversation is leading down this whole kid story and how many kids she wants and the more they go on she kind of like you know, alludes to the kids, 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 kids story. And it, it like was jarring, like it's shock. It's making him feel very uncomfortable, right? So um, I like the fact that he says it's jarring as if referencing like a Petri dish to a certain degree and then uh, um, and, and like sperm cells and things like that. So I gave you two over there. I think the second one is what we'll go with for, the, for now. I'm sure you can interpret it either way. That's just my own personal uh, um, thought process on that. This is very interesting because they, they chewed our kneecaps under the table and picked out our shins uh, and left deep red scarring. So left deep red scarring didn't actually leave deep red scarring. There are no kids in that uh, situation. But they picked at our ankles and a pick and, and a and a chewed at our, our kneecaps. Why did he say picked at our ankles and chewed at our kneecaps? Um... It sounds odd and disjointed, but when you actually think about the topic, the subject matter, when you actually, you know, where the, the whole talk of kids makes you very uncomfortable, right? You don't, want to, you don't want to come out and say, well, I don't like kids. You know what I mean? Because that, that's like, that's kind of like an arsehole. And she doesn't want to come out and be like, maybe you're not the right person to have kids with at the end of the day. So that's all a very uncomfortable conversation. So why... So those feelings, they leave below the surface, which means they leave below the table. So over that, that's, it's eating at them, but it's something that they can't show above the surface. They can't show above the table. They can't show that emotion above the table, right? Because that's very telling. So they keep it below the table. And that's why it's chewing at the knees and it's, and, and, and it's uh, uh, um, and picking at our shins, left deep and left deep where it's going. Because it's actually, it's, it's, it's actually, uh, um, um, affecting them it's like uh, i don't really want this but they keep that 
um, their real feelings about that under the table and under the surface because they don't want to bring it up, especially it's a first day, you don't want to bring your true feelings about it up above the table and above the surface and in, in conversation, right? That's my thinking around that. So let's uh, carry on. It's Garvin. At 2 a.m. 10 of my twins pulled up in three wheelers and snuck for a side door. So basically at 2 a.m. 10, uh, 10 of my twins pulled up, or you could just say 20 people, right, in three wheelers and stuck, stuck through the side door. So it's basically saying that more people that he feels are like him, right, uh, he's kind of alluding to like the fact that there's no one, uh, he's kind of a clone to a certain degree. And this is where I kind of like what he's doing over here, where he's, he's um, the world he's created for you over here is basically an organism world he's basically saying that i'm just another guy i'm just another soul i'm just another i'm like it's almost like this is like when you go to these kind of environments it just feels like a petri dish that there are a lot of cells multiplying right anyone could take my seat over here it just depends it depends if their likes if their 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 likes match with her or um, if they're more of a bad boy than I am. He's basically saying personal attributes don't really mean anything. At the end of the day, at this stage, right, any one of us could get a date with this girl. And only when you dig deeper, right, do you realize, well, maybe this person's for me or this person's not for me, but any of these people could take my place to a certain degree because that's how he's looking at it, right? Um uh, it's it's actually quite an interesting take. I I've, I can think about this in many different ways, but let me not make this video crazy long. So uh, this is over here, lined up behind me, ready to swap sweets and and sell her a lost freak, right? So it's all of them. So it's basically alluding to himself, and he's alluding to everybody that's in the vicinity, everybody that's in. They're all lost to a certain degree. And again, he's playing to the molecular level where he's saying, you know, this this just multiplies. Like the longer we hear. There's just more lost freaks that are multiplying in this bar that are waiting to take my seat. So waiting for me to get up, struck out, right? So strike out and then take the seat, sit down and then try and, and, and sell her on something that uh, um, they're actually not, right? Let's carry on. That's where he, break, I like that little like sort of um, break away from his psychological uh, thought process where he's thinking, 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 and then he's like, oh shit, this tequila is to die for. Like he, it's, it breaks, it, it brings you back into reality and then he takes you back into his mindset after that. And he also alludes to the fact that he is drinking. So he alludes to the fact that he's not only drinking, he's drinking hard stuff, he's drinking hard tack, right? So it's going to work on him uh, 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 um um, quicker. Instead of a lost freak, it's the key that's to die for. Damn, damn. She kept snake eggs in a silver person. So over here, I kept snake eggs in a silver person. She kept snake eggs in a silver person. I'm not entirely sure if he's alluding because I've heard of snake eggs being alluded to as like drugs or pills. So she kept snake eggs in a silver purse. Might be alluding to um, drugs. A silver person. Then it's all more dragged through the building bus. Um, now over here it's like let's all multiply until the building bursts again he's playing into the molecular side he's playing into uh, the, the the laboratory side like there's there's only a, a, um, a set amount of space in this petri dish that i'm currently in and the more people that that uh, uh, um, multiply in here or the more people that come in here right until it becomes too much and we decide to leave. Now, I'm also thinking like he's playing into this where he's like, okay, well, let's just play this game. Let's all just multiply into the building burst. So it kind of is playing to the fact that he's feeling amorous, all right? So he's feeling amorous. She might be a pretty girl to a certain degree and that his sperm cell count is rising, okay? And he's like, okay, well, let's just all multiply until I ram her later, right? And the building bursts. You know what that means from a sexual standpoint, and then he's playing that into his actual environment as well. That's what I'm thinking of so far. the building burst. He could have filled the church with sheets of himself, all kneeling in prayer with hundreds of stained glass scenes from his childhood spin around our six feet. 
So I like, I actually like this over here where he actually says, okay, so now he's playing into all of his different personalities and all of his different personas. So, right, this is all running around his head. Hundreds of stained glass scenes from a childhood spin around us six feet in the air. So he's, he's basically saying that all I, he's, 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 Basically saying, I'm switching masks out, in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. It's like stained glass, right? The fact that he's playing uh, uh, um, the whole stained glass thing is that if you actually think when you look through stained glass, you see different colors, right? So this one's red, this one's green, this one's yellow, this one's this. And as you look out, it's projecting a different colorful image of him, right? But is any of it true to a certain degree? So he's basically, it's almost, and he alludes to it a little bit later, I think, where he talks about, you know, I could have filled the church with the shades of himself. So all the different shades of himself um, kneeling, uh, kneeling in prayer. So he's basically saying, I could have filled the church with all the different people. With all, so basically, if he had to multiply himself and all of the things that he's done wrong, he's taking his sins and treating them as personalities. So if he takes all of the sins that he has done, he's taking that, giving them a personality, putting them in the church and calling them a shade. right? And then afterwards, equating that shade to the stained glass from the different... So I'm, I'm different colors. I'm kind of like a chameleon. I... I, I I'm not like sort of straight. I switch in and out, right? And it, depending on my environment, depending on who I meet, right? I become a different person, right? Other people, it, it depends on who I meet. I become that other person, what I think that other person wants to see in me, right? So this is another way of saying that um, I know my sins. I know my shades. She doesn't know my shades, right? She doesn't know my sins. I could fill the church with all of my different sins, Right, but that's why I've got to play this chameleon game because I don't want you to see through that. I've got to play this chameleon game where I'm going to be what she thinks uh, uh, I am, but what I'm actually not. Beating the year, told him to hide in the trunk. Told him to hide in the trunk. There again, he just alludes to it. has been around us six feet in the year. So uh, over there, he's like uncomfortable side. He's got hide in the trunk. We don't want that coming out. I did say. That. Told him to hide in the trunk. Never mind me, I'm drunk. So again, here Luce says, never mind me, I'm drunk. So already over here, he's inebriated. Okay, so here he's playing with the anxiety part of it. He's playing with the, um, I don't think he's playing with paranoia just yet. I think the paranoia comes in the next, in the next uh, section of the song, in the next verse over here. But it's, he's basically playing with um, anxiety and un uncomfortability at the moment, right? He's, he really is trying to, um, while drunk, keep his hands on the levers so that his true self doesn't come out, that the mask doesn't slip, essentially. Okay, a swarm of people around us, millions of twinkling eyes in the dark. Millions of twinkling eyes in the dark. If you want to be by yourself, you should have said that right from the jump. But when you saw him off the left hand, then you're going to slice off the right with a stump. So this over here is actually quite a cool line. This whole, it's you know, kind of like the the it's the hook or the bridge, whatever you want to call it. A swarm of people are okay. A swarm of people around us, millions of eyes twinkling in this dump. So he's already saying that the place we are at is a dump, right? He doesn't like the place that they're at, right? And a swarm of people with a million eyes twinkling in the in this dump. Okay. And again, why does he refer to it as dump? And it's almost like he sees it as again like the petri dish. It's like this parasites and bacteria that's all just swarming around. And if you look at if you look at it through a um, a microscope, it just looks like it's all these you know things twinkling, like, you know these viruses twinkling. So uh, I like the fact that he's again alluding to this being a dump and that playing it back into the molecular sort of bacterial parasitic level of this thing. So if you want to be by yourself, you should have said that right from the jump. But when you saw off the left hand, then you're gonna slice off the right with a so over here, but when you've sawn off the left hand, how are you going to slice off the right one with the dump? So it's basically, again, he's talking to you about the decisions he's made in his life. He's made bad decisions. He's already severed his last relationships, right? And when you've severed your last relationships, how are you going to sever the next one, right? With just a stump, essentially. So he wants to be in a relationship, but he doesn't want to be in a relationship. Like he wants this, but he doesn't want to, He doesn't want this. He doesn't actually want to be alone, but he wants to be alone. He's very indecisive. He severed his previous relationship, and now he's got a stump on the one hand, right? So he's got no more utility from there, and now he needs a bit of utility from his right hand, but he can't now 
now that he's that that he's in this he can't sever it because he's like fuck i really don't have anybody and i am lonely so i might as well see this through right that's where i'm that's where i'm taking it Dumb. See, even the video plays into that where he sees the world as just this parasites and molecules that are multiplying. How you gonna? Yeah. How you gonna start? So over here, I kind of feel like he's playing into like, you can even hear it in the sound. There's like a higher frequency over there and it's a little bit irritating and it's a bit unsettling to a certain degree. And I think now over here is when he sort of switches into paranoia, right? This is when the drugs are kicking in. This is when the alcohol is kicking in. And um, all of a sudden now he's, he's racing at a thousand miles an hour, okay? Yeah. So now all of a sudden uh, over here he's kind of like playing into the fact that like he's in a war he's in the Vietnamese war he's in the trenches over here okay so he's playing that in his own mind the son of my back staggering fleeing uh, uh, the green menace um, and then over here rumor <laughs> The wild wriggling is the situation he's in right now with her, right? So, uh, tugging my teeth at my Vietnam, uh, um, in a Vietnamese chemist, essentially. So, uh, um, it feels like he's pulling teeth, essentially. It's like this date is like, is going like it's pulling teeth, right? When people are saying, she's talking to this person, it was like pulling teeth. Vietnamese chemist, the sun on my back, staggering, fleeing a green menace, is pulling my brain out and deleting the clean edit. I like that. That's pulling my brain out and deleting the clean edits, right? So, uh, um, I kind of feel like he's racing through his brain. He's racing through what he wants to say in conversation, but it feels like someone's pulling his brain out and, er and like erasing the clean edits. So all, all that's coming out is just dirty edits, right? He's drunk, he's on drugs, and um, he's kind of lost a little bit of his control over here, right? So like the clean edits have all been pulled out of his brain. He's now left all with the dirty ones. Squeezing the days dry and then eating the sweet relish. Squeezing the days dry and then eating. Obviously, I know what that what that actually means. I'm just trying to I'm trying to understand the context within this. All right. Um, okay. So again, he's just playing. He's alluding to war over here. So it's squeezing the days dry and then eating the sweet relish, as if it's like these days in war, it's these days in battle. All the clean edits has been uh, deleted. Squeezing the days dry. Right, so it feels like this. So basically, he's also alluding to the fact that this is just feels like it's going on forever, right? And he's running out of things to say. It's like squeezing the time dry and then eating the sweet relish. So like anything, anything good that can actually add to this date, anything sweet that he can add to this date, he, he actually it's depleted. He doesn't have any of that left. Relish the spot on the heat, melting the skin on my scalp, bubbling, rattling, guns firing a million rounds up at him. Get See again, is he's just playing into the whole. He he's playing into the whole idea that he's he's at feels like he's at war over here. He's like he's in the trenches, right? Uh, and that's all because of his paranoia. Like he's just it's it's all racing through his mind. Even that's you'll see that that's why the the cadence has uh, um, sped up as well. Okay, so over here he alludes, he alludes to the fact that everything he's saying, so he says, I've, I've deleted the clean edits, right? He's deleted the actual genuine part of himself. Everything that he said over here, because he's in the state at the moment, and because he's in the state of trying to impress, but he's not, uh, uh, um, he's trying to impress, but uh, um, mentally he's like, he, he feels he's drunk, right? He's on drugs, right? And he's trying to impress, and it's all just coming out wrong. Right, so everything he's saying is just he knows it's like it's lies, like it's lies, and it's almost like he's saying there's like shit. Maybe she can see through me. Maybe she can see the fact that she can see through these lies to a certain degree. Million rounds up at him, guessing they're all standing, forgiving him, not troubling him. Lies. 
Also, when he talks about the whole war situation, he might be playing it up uh, to her that he's like this tough guy, that he's bigger than what he really is, right? He's trying to play the manly man figure, the manly man character. So it can go two ways, essentially. feels like in a, he's in a war, but then he's playing himself up as if he's like this power, like this, this, this soldier, hero, like hero in a war. Right, and then he goes as like it's lies. I'm all lies. It's all lies, right? I'm just playing myself up too much. I'm not any of this person, which he alludes to in the in the beginning verse, where he's he's uh, uh, um, saying that this person that is actually sitting there um, is a lost fool, essentially. So. <laughs> So I'm going to eat all night while the walls are collapsing. So he's basically saying that this whole thing is just falling apart, right? He might as well just eat all night, right? Because for as long as his mouth is full, for as long as it takes to chew his food, at least he's not spewing shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's not spewing lies out. I'm going to eat all night while the walls are collapsing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Blood red, everything, everything matching. matching. Yeah. Red. So blood red, everything, everything matching. It kind of feels like he's on like red alert, red flags. I kind of feel like he's probably saying that she can see the red flags. He can see the red flags. He can, he kind of feels like there's, he's in the space of, um, of like warning signs are going off, right? Again, playing into the, into the whole uh, war thing. And then he's also playing into like the molecular level in terms of blood cells, right? So everything red, uh, blood's racing through his body, heart's pumping. Um, and uh, um, uh, he feels like he feels warm, hot, body temperature's gone up and things like that. Cheeks getting flustered, stuff like that. So like everything's red, okay? Silence in the cold air hatching. Yeah. What? We lived our lives like sci-fi epics. We lived our lives like sci-fi epics, okay? That's again him just alluding to the fact that he's just played everything up. Yeah. Just my name three thousand times on the credits. I love that. I love that where he actually talks about the sci-fi epic, who talks about the movie, and the way he plays out his um the way he plays out the whole conversation about himself and the personality. He plays it out as a movie. So I'm this, I'm this, I'm this, I'm this, I'm this, and it's almost felt like it's a movie. And obviously this whole sort of paranoid situation that he's feeling and is feels like a movie and then uh he says that so we lived our life like sci-fi epics and then he says epics, yeah. Yeah. Just my so over here just my name three thousand times in the credits so it's just my name three thousand times meaning like all i did was talk about myself right just my name three thousand times in the credit this movie was about me nothing about her he doesn't even speak of what she said right he just speaks about what he's got in his own mentality so everything that came out of his mouth was basically about him right so he's like i'm the producer of this movie and that's also kind of the way he played this kind of the way um he depicted his life to her saying well i do everything i'm the master of all right i'm the jack of all trades and i'm the master of all trades i can do absolutely everything if this was a movie i would produce it direct it make the music make the costume make the makeup do all that kind of crap it's all me i'm fucking great just my name three thousand times on this credit this is my movie right fire name three thousand times on the credits we were pelted with pills like shotgun pellets. See over here, we were pelted with pills like shotgun pellets, essentially. So I kind of feel like he's playing into the old drugs things. We were we on drugs, right? So um, those snake eggs that were in her bag, essentially. I don't know if it was before or after or whatever, but he says, now nah, here we says we were pelted with pills like shotgun pellets, where he wants it to tie back into the whole war scheme. Right, but then um, he, he's alluding to the he's alluding to the drugs taking their um, taking their toll. So after a while, we're just sending our stunt doubles. I like the fact that he's actually playing into uh, that where it's like the molecular soul. Uh, thing over there as well where if you actually think of cells splitting up so it's like stunt doubles it feels like it's stunt doubles because if you if you think about the uh, uh, the cells when they split they like sort of bob around and they do these little stunts inside your 
bloodstream or whatever else right so after a while we were again if you actually think of this that he's looking at this all as a lab experiment and all from a molecular level and then playing it into his scenario right now so it's basically so it's not even me that's doing these acts it's something else because i'm inebriated so i'm i'm not even i'm not even uh, um rational or i'm not even there i'm not cognizant of what I'm doing, right? It's because I'm operating on a different level under the influence of something. So it's my stunt doubles doing all this fucking acting out here. Do you know what I mean? And he says, but we were just sending our stunt doubles. So both of them were sending their stunt doubles. Both of them, it, it wasn't their true souls, right? They sent somebody else to play the part in this date, which is still themselves, but it's a different, a completely different uh, uh, um, personality to who they really are. In the red capes and tugging the knights in it's. Okay, so in the red capes, so it's kind of like superheroes alluding to like the the stunt doubles being in the superheroes and tug at the knight in it. So as the night gets dark, it's like the depths of the night, right? So the innards is like the 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 the, the nitty gritty. Right, uh, if you actually think of innards as kind of like the guts, right? So it's like we're now in the belly of the beast type vibe, right? So slipping in mud, dribbling blood in their wine spritzes. The wine spritzes coming back with a skull and a couple of nice pieces. So yeah, this is where I think like his whole psyche is getting hectic, 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 hectic. Where now he's starting, starting to describe his entire environments as well. Um, and then play it up to towards them. Slipping in my dribbling blood in. So he's basically saying over here that everything is just getting. So obviously he's in the bar and they're drinking. They're drinking and they've got spritzes in front of them. But he's basically saying that this is all just getting messy, right? It's all just getting messy with drugs drinking um and it's it's like it's, it's mud it's, it's it's muddy this is all getting dirty it's coming back with a skull and a couple of nice pictures all these plastic figures appearing out of the cupboards i just rang the bell and greeted a shiver that's just in describing his environment just rang the bell and greeted shivering shop i'm sure i've done me in every possible Oh, that's he's like he's referring to the actual staff over there all feature is stuck on a spinning wheel she just puts a little hand on the bottom and got lucky so over here, so basically, um, she just pushed her little hand on the buzzer and got lucky, right? So I kind of feel like, I don't think there was an actual buzzer over there. I think it's just because she asked the waiter a question, so it kind of interrupted everything, and they needed that interruption because it was getting too hectic, right? It was getting too overwhelming. Sir, these extra faces cost money. I like that. Where I love this line. Wheel, she just puts a little hand on the bottom and got lucky, sir. I love this line over here, sir. These extra faces cost money, right? So if you actually think that there's no faces as a dish, but he's basically saying your faces that you're switching in and out of, it costs money, motherfucker. Those faces that you're trying to impress her with, all of this is cost money. You're trying to come out here as the big dog that you can pay for everything, that you've got money and blah 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 blah. And while so he's not thinking about it, he's intoxicated. Is under drugs and anything goes to a certain degree. So obviously they're running up the bull now, hectically, right? And now the guy comes to him and is like, these extra faces, the faces that are you putting on, try trying to impress her, it costs money, sir. But he's he's alluding to the fact that um, the faces is kind of like a dish on the menu. It's like you know, it's like his personalities are kind of like elements on the menu so it's almost like saying all of these different personas that you're trying to play up over here all of that shit's costing you money buddy as if they were actually side dishes that's fucking cool though i like the way he said that these extra faces cost money i sped away grinning and burnt a full tank i sped away grinning and burnt a full tank okay so it's basically okay. he surrounded himself with himself I surrounded himself with himself and then sat there waiting for one to pull rank. That's fire. So it's basically, he avoided the question over there. So he spit, it, he spit away grinning. He's like, oh, okay, cool. He grinned for a bit. And then he, he sort of pulled away from the situation. He surrounded himself with himself and he started like sort of thinking about himself. So he was all in his own, no more interaction with her. And then sat there waiting for one to pull rank. He was waiting for somebody, right, to pull rank and to actually make a decision, right? Well, pull rank or to get the check or to actually uh, offer to pay could be that they're waiting for one to pull rank trouble in the inner support and we in the private 
the trouble ain't the endless debauchery and depravity. So this over here is where he gives you um, an insight to the night, right? So it's debauchery, it's depravity, it's all just uh, absolutely crazy um, behind us. Behind us, all the troubles, remembering every minute. The trouble is remembering every minute, right? You actually do want to remember it every minute, but when you're in those uh, debaucherous moments and things like that, I think you actually do remember every minute. You choose to not remember every minute, right? But uh, some of the some of the things you do, it's, you would like to remember everything because of the fact that you're like, oh shit, why wow, was so why wow, was I so stupid? That's some useful information over there. Trouble in the innocent voice, we in the privacy behind us. All the troubles, remembering every minute. But no one's gonna turn up and hand you a tiny island with a single jet ship. I like that. So no one's gonna, no one's going to rock up and uh, hand you a tiny island with a deck chair, right? You're in this kind of thing. You have no island, although you feel like an island. You feel like you want to be on an island, but no one is going to give you that, and that's not going to land. That's not going to land um, on your lap. That's something you're going to have to work for. You're going to have to go through the motions and things like that, right? And this is basically how he works for it. So he just wants a bit of he just wants a bit of peace. He wants a bit of solitude. Um, he doesn't want all of this chaos, right? But he feels like his entire life is in chaos. And the only way he's going to get his, himself out of his life of chaos is to actually remember all the shit that he's doing, so that he can work on something like that, so that he can get to his island of solitude. Because no one's going to give you an island of solitude. Unfortunately, you're going to have to tread the jungle alone before you get to that space, is basically what he's trying to say. Remembering every minute, but no one's going to turn up and hand you a tiny island with a single jet chair in the center of the Pacific. Wait, 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 yeah. Never mind me, I'm drunk. Swarm of people around us, millions of twinkling eyes and it's dumb really You this. wanna be by yourself, you should have said that right from the jump But when you're thrown off the left I like that he's playing like the ants and the bees and all that to there Like everything's buzzing and you know he's looking at everything He's looking at the whole of society and himself as insects, right? Insects that are just there to do the basics, right? Um, and it's almost like he's, he's saying that... Uh, this entire interaction wasn't meaningful as if you actually look it was just there for the primal purpose the baser urges that's all it was there for right there was nothing there's nothing was dipped it was as shallow as a puddle this entire interaction left hand are you gonna slash off the right with a stump wait 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 yeah, yeah. never mind me i'm drunk swarm of people around us millions of twinkling eyes in this dump if you want to be by yourself, you should have said that right from the jump. Should have said that right from the jump. So we're done there. We're done over here. This uh, reaction's long enough, man. This is like 50 minutes long. Um, yeah, this is the thing with these kind of lyricists, though. If you're breaking it down line for line and trying to introspect. And again, uh, it's just my personal interpretation um, on the first or second listen. Um, uh, it's actually very hard to sort of package your thoughts correctly. So that's why it feels like I'm like I'm here, there, and struggling to sort of articulate things um, a little bit more, more uh, uh, coherently. Um, so yeah, I kind of felt like a little bit all over the show here, but that is how it is, man. This is just, I've learned that this is just what it is with these uh, kind of artists when you're trying to dissect this kind of thing. It needs a couple more listens so that you can get your thoughts together and you can uh, really sort of find a structured way of describing what's going on but uh yeah man i did my best man i did my best it's a 50 minute long reaction man which is crazy long not many people are going to watch a 50 minute long uh reaction these are very cool tracks i must be honest these are very cool tracks to listen to on your like by yourself and to sort of introspect on them and stuff like that um 
and just for reactions they take so damn long and i know people absolutely love it i mean people love uh when dissecting these kind of things but the majority of people don't like it that's the difference i absolutely love it but the majority of people don't and it's the majority of people i find would uh, um click off very soon after after like 10 minutes right um this is very much in its own class of people that like to listen to this kind of thing i personally don't mind it um but uh yeah man they take a hell of a long time anyway you guys let me know what you think down below and um i'll catch you in the next one peace